Hello there. Welcome to Living on Purpose. My name is Fola Daniel Adelesi, and I'm still talking about 28 reasons why goals fail. Now, the one I want to talk about right now is people's inability to delegate. There are too many people who think that they must do everything themselves. You can't possibly do everything by yourself. You will not be able to do it. You don't have all the time in the world. You have 24 hours. I don't know if, like me, at some point you've ever felt that 24 hours was not enough because there's so much to be done. And at other times, it looks like you have a little time on your hand. But more importantly, if you have a very serious goal, the chances are that you will always realize you don't have enough time to be able to accomplish all the goals by yourself. So it's very important to learn how to effectively delegate. You don't just delegate because we have said, oh, you should be able to delegate. Note the things that are important and note the things that are not too important. Note the ones that only you can do and note the ones that someone else can do, even though those things are important. For example, when you need to do something and you still need to pick up your clothes from the laundry service, you can actually send someone to pick up your clothes. For example, there are certain other things you can pay for instead of doing those things yourself. You'll recall that I've also shared that stinginess is one of the reasons goals are not accomplished. But if you don't want to pay for the services that you can pay for in order to save yourself a lot of time, then you will not be able to delegate. And when you think you're saving money, you're not actually saving money, you're killing yourself. You must understand this about rich people. One of the things rich people try to do is to buy the time of other people so that they can have more time on their hands. How do they buy the time of other people? They pay several people to do the things that they should be doing. And when they pay other people to do those things, they have the time to do what is very important. You either pay someone else to do several other things that you should be doing so that you can have more time or you delegate those things. Some people say, oh, I don't want to delegate because they won't do it well. Well, teach people to do it well or look for professionals who can do those things well. Delegating makes you a more effective person. Delegating will give you more time on your hand and delegating allows you to achieve faster than any other person who is not delegating. So it's very important you remember that your inability to delegate effectively is working against you. It's not just enough to delegate, you have to delegate effectively. So what does effective delegation mean? You prioritize the things that you have to achieve and you look at the ones that you can give to somebody else you look at the ones that you must achieve or take on by yourself. So those tasks that you must take on, you take on those ones. The other tasks that you can give to other people, make sure you give those tasks to other people. But whatever you do, when you're delegating, remember the task of loving yourself, loving your family can never be delegated. Those ones can be done by you and you alone. Virtually every other thing you can delegate. So. Let me remind you again, if you really want to succeed, you have to hit the ground running now. Please head on to www.foladaniel.com and check some very inspiring videos and articles. Thank you.